Wait, wait, Russia and China said no to a ceasefire? There was a USA-led draft resolution at the UN Secretary Council for a temporary six-week pause and allowing for some humanitarian aid. And I know what you're thinking. Wait a sec. Didn't the US veto all the previous UN resolutions for ceasefire? What the hell? What the hell indeed? So here's what's happening. Russia and China vetoed this resolution saying it's only a six week pause of genocide. In other words, it's theatrics. And they pretty much don't want to vote on anything that's a waste of time and it's not a permanent ceasefire. They also said the language is very politicized and it's being used by the United States as a cover to green light an Israeli invasion, full-on invasion of Rafah. Here's what I think is going on. Number one, the USA gave Israel the green light to commit genocide for six months. They thought that would be enough to displace all Palestinians and get rid of Hamas. However, two million displaced Palestinians refused to leave Gaza, and Hamas has pretty much exposed Israeli occupation forces for what they really are, overfunded, incompetent, and genocidal. These past few months have really exposed Israel millions upon millions of dollars in propaganda just gone, just like that. The US was also not expecting the role social media would play, even with all the censorship, and we're not expecting the role TikTok would play such a vital role in exposing Israeli war crimes and how complicit the US is. Hence now they're trying to buy or ban TikTok. Number two, Genocide Joe wants to be reelected, and now he sees a huge portion of the population turning against him for his role in supporting this genocide. So now the U.S. is doing some of these symbolic gestures to kind of win back support, even though this resolution would also benefit Israel more than anybody else. Turns out people don't like it when you pretend you want peace, but then you keep funding a genocide. Who knew? Number three, Russia and China continue to refuse to condemn what happened on October 7th. But why? Well, similar to what the U.N. Secretary General said, that these attacks did not occur within a vacuum. They were the result of decades of occupation and oppression. However, Russia and China's support aren't necessarily simply for humanitarian purposes. Since October 7th, the United States' attention has no longer strictly been on combating China and Russia. And the U.S.'s funding has shifted predominantly from Ukraine and funding Ukraine and fighting Russia and Ukraine to funding Israel. This has given Russia and China a lot more breathing space. In other words, Palestine is just a pawn in all their political games. And as far as we're concerned, a temporary pause to the genocide is not enough. We need a permanent ceasefire, a lifting of this illegal siege, ending the occupation. Only then can there be real discussions about a real solution. Something tells me Israel and the United States of America don't want that.